Yeah, so I just pulled over on the side of the road to fiddle with my camera equipment, and I can hear puppies crying. I'm, I'm wearing flip-flops, so I don't really like walking in high grass, because there's a, <laughs> there's been a, a lot of uh, cobras recently in this area. And if there's puppies, there might be a mom guarding them, so I could get <laughs> that dog rushing out to attack me any second now. Oh, speaking of which. Hello! My goodness! Oh my goodness! Hi! Hi! Kakai! It's okay! How many are you? Are you only one? Are you one puppy by yourself? Hi! Hi! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Hi! Hi! Hi, it's okay. Yeah. Hi. It's okay. Yeah, that's that's Xiaomi. Hi. Hi. Oh my goodness. Where's your mommy? Where's you? Where's your mommy? Where's your mommy? Hi. 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 Oh, I hear a dog in the distance. This dog's pretty healthy, though. Like, that's not, it's not skinny. And I can hear a dog barking. You know what? I'll mark it on my GPS. I'll come back in a couple of days. I'm going to leave it because it's healthy. And there's some food things here, like someone's been feeding it. You can't save every stray you find in Taiwan because you can find five a day. And if it's healthy and it's got food, it's already better off than a lot of dogs. But, but this one's beautiful. Pure black. I love the coloring. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey guys, so I don't know if uh, I was using the good camera or not on my last video. I used two cameras. One camera I just used for the microphone only. And it's it's HD, but it's not very good quality. And then I also have... Are you the mommy? Are you the mommy? Is that your baby? There's a little dog in there. Yes, yes. Do you know me? Yeah, some 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 shower. Because that's a dandy and eager. Well but now tell the mama your mail tie. This is a nigga t shit tie u has a tie u shaman. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna save this spot. Save. Uh, yeah. So I, I just I just found a puppy, and then I'm just gonna save this for now. I'll come check it out in the uh, in a day or so and see if it's still there. I'm not gonna take a puppy because maybe its mom is just wandered. It, it looked healthy, so maybe its mom is nearby, or maybe someone one of the neighbors is feeding it. Um, stray dogs in Taiwan, they're not always they. they, they it's not necessarily a bad thing, you know, like. I'd write like as far as in Taiwan, actually a lot of the time. That's a big snail. You guys see that? Uh, a lot of the time in Taiwan, being a stray is happier and healthier than 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 belonging in a home, because a lot of Taiwanese people they just keep they keep they treat dogs as if they're uh, parakeets, and by that I mean they stuff them into a cage and then leave them there for the rest of their life. What am I, there, there, there's someone in my neighborhood who has, like, on his driveway, he has three or four cages. And they're, they're fairly, they're not large. No, they're not large. I was going to say they're fairly large, but no, they're not. They, 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 they fit the dog. The dog can sit inside of it and stand up and turn in a circle, but it can't walk. And, and like, there's all these cages along their driveway, and then each cage just has a dog in it. And I'm, 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 
I've asked people about it and they're like, yeah, they're just using it as a security system because if you come riding, walking, or driving up their driveway, each cage is going to start barking as you go past them. So that's their like warning system that someone's approaching approaching the house. I don't know if they're doing illegal activities or if, or if it's totally legal, they're just worried about theft. But regardless, it's, it's, it's bull. Yeah, so we're just exploring the back roads. Uh, these back roads, I, I haven't really done them that much. And uh, I did them the other day by chance with my son. And, uh, oh, I was, I was starting to say in the other video and I didn't finish it. Um, one of the reasons I enjoy doing back roads with my son is because we can talk. Because like on these back roads, you're, you're riding slower than you would be on a main road. On the main road, w which is straight, I just go, I just go fast, and there's lots of wind, and we can't actually talk. And then, and the road's boring, so I don't, there's no real reason to go slow and drag it and drag it out. So we just hurry along the main road and get to where we're going. But on these these little back roads, it's just. I just put along and look at things and, and, and have conversations with my son and if the conversation gets dull there's usually something that we can see that we can talk about. Speaking of which, like in, Aust in Australia they have some of the longest straightest roads on the planet Earth. Um, whoa. So I wonder if that's poison that he's spraying, probably. Yeah, he's got a little face mask on. That's not for COVID, that's for whatever it is he's spraying. But the fact that he's walking in it, it's like he's spraying it all the way around himself and then walking through it. I'm pretty sure he's going to get covered in that crap no matter what. Yeah, look at these, like, these, these, these roads are just crazy, man. Uh, England, England reminds me of this. So England has a lot of farming roads that are just crazy curvy. And England is uh, dumb as heck because, like, the British government, whoever makes those roads, because... In England, they have these roads that are just like that road that I just did, tiny and curvy, but they're two-way traffic, which is already, like, dangerous. And then, to make matters worse, they, have, they do this weird thing where they have, like, oops, hedges on either side of them, like six-foot-tall hedges right up to the road. So when you're driving in England, when you're going along a road just like this one, you, you literally have a wall on either side of the road that comes all the way up to the road. So you can, so every single corner is a 100% blind corner because you can't see, there's, there's six foot walls on either side. Uh, they're like hedges, uh, vegetation walls. And uh, so you're driving along these roads in a car and then, yeah, it's just insane because at any moment you could have another car coming head on at you on any corner. I don't know how people don't die constantly on those roads in England, or maybe they do. Maybe they do. Uh, yeah, so in my last video, which may or may not have been recorded with my good camera, I, I got to figure out what's going on with it. Uh, I was talking about, I, I, I got a new job, um, I'm t well, just, I got more teaching hours is what I got, it's not technically, I, I'm, I was already a teacher, I just got... I just doubled my workload because I don't have any tours right now. See, and the GPS tells me to go right here as opposed to the road that's right there. This is, yeah, I like this, hold on. I'm gonna save this as mid point HSR, which means high-speed train station because I kind of like taking these back roads uh, so what else is new I was I'm, I, if, oh I have a roommate right now which is <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's not voluntary uh, he's it's, it's like f it's forced on him and myself both in the sense that what happened was I, I had a tour guest back when COVID was starting and he came, he, he, he came out to Taiwan for like a week, a week or two. And while here, uh, his home country shut down their borders. Uh, when I say home country, he, he works in, Thai, in Vietnam. He's, he's an American guy who's half Vietnamese. And he, he, he went back to Vietnam because that's where his, his mom's from and that's his culture. So he wanted to learn about it. And um, 
while visiting me here, Vietnam closed their borders. So he can't get back to his house, he can't get back to his furniture, his, his, his pets. So he's like trapped in uh, Taiwan. So just a meat market on the side of the road.